You're listening to Space Pirate Radio. In space. Space. Space Pirate Radio. I'm your host this week, Josh, from over on Rush the Fort. We were just listening to the Overworld theme from Super Mario Land on the Game Boy. The Mario series is known for its many catchy tunes, but not many people seem to appreciate the Super Mario Land soundtrack, which is a darn shame, I think, because it has some of the best tunes in the series. Now, as many of you know, in the 1990s, Mario had a fierce rivalry with Sonic the Hedgehog, and while nowadays you might find them playing Olympic sports together, they were at each other's throats back in the day. And while the Mario series has retained its critical success over the years, the same can't exactly be said for Sonic the Hedgehog. But, say what you will about the quality of Sonic's games these days, the soundtracks are always awesome. So here's the Metal Sonic theme from Sonic Generations. That track was a remix of the Stardust Speedway theme from the Japanese soundtrack of Sonic CD. It was a big deal for the Sonic franchise, which already had an amazing soundtrack in all their previous games, to actually have CD quality audio in their soundtracks. There are some video game soundtracks where you can just tell that it was made for orchestra, but the technology at the time was lacking to be able to do that. One such series is the Professor Layton series, which started out on the Nintendo DS, which didn't exactly allow for high quality audio, but on the official soundtracks that they released for those games in the series, they actually had a bunch of real orchestrated versions of tracks from those games. So you're finally able to hear those tracks the way they originally intended. So here's one of those orchestrated tracks from Professor Layton in the Curious Village, Curtain of Night.
One of the main draws of the Professor Layton series is the hundreds of mind-bending brain teasers that you have to solve. A few Christmases ago, one of the games that I had near the very top of my Christmas list was Professor Layton and the Miracle Mask, which had just recently come out. But like many kids at Christmas, you soon learn that you don't always get what you want. Instead of that game, my grandmother gifted me a big book of puzzles. And she told me that, oh, well, you kids play too many video games these days. I want you to play some real games for once. This makes me wonder if we're all going to be the same way to our grandchildren when we grow up. Like, it's like, oh, you kids in your hologram sports, I want you to play some real video games. Like uh, Super Mario Brothers or Chrono Trigger or, uh, or Katamari Forever, a track from which is coming right up next after a word from our... Uh, sponsors? Did you see the latest Nintendo newsletter? Whoa, nice graphics! I'd like to get my hands on that game. You mean you haven't played it yet? We can play it on my Nintendo Entertainment System. It's the Legend of Zelda and it's really rad. Those creatures from Ganon are pretty bad. Octorox Tech Tech's levers too. But with your help, our hero pulls through. Yeah, go Link, yeah, get Zelda. Awesome! Intense. The Nintendo Entertainment System. Your parents help you hook it up. The Legend of Zelda sold separately.
After this episode's over, I would highly recommend going to check out the soundtracks from the Katamari games. They're not just some of the best video game soundtracks out there, but personally I think they're some of the best albums ever released. And I'm being 100% serious about that, go check them out. But, but later, not, not now, because we're, we're still doing a thing here. And the best is yet to come, because the next track is the, the best is yet to come, from my personal favorite game of all time, Metal Gear Solid. Best is yet to come. What? No, th that's not the right one. That's Frank Sinatra. The, the, the video game one. The, yeah, yeah, that one.
I went through my entire childhood thinking that was a Japanese song, but I later found out that it's actually a Gaelic opera. Anyway, I'm going to leave this off with an old nostalgic tune from the days of the Game Boy era. Appropriately, the end credits theme from Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal versions. This is Josh signing off. Have a good night, everybody. Or day, or, or morning, whenever, whenever you're listening to this.